Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I am joined by Christian. What up? So there we go. We uh, we may have that's, that's a Paul. <laughs> we, we may have a Paul later. I, I, I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's just just the two of us. We're going back to you know what we did at the beginning. So so there we go. Sometimes there's only two. Here we are. So tonight we are talking about uh, Galvatron. So th there we go. Just the piece, though. With uh, with correctly, yeah, just that piece. With with correctly assembled shoulders. He does have correctly assembled shoulders. So that's exciting. At least they got that right. Look, they're all correcty and stiff. Yeah. Yes, at least they did get that right, which is very nice. You broke me that time. We reviewed the other one. <laughs> I'm wrong. I, had, I hadn't noticed it, and I couldn't unsee it. Hmm. There's a lot of that. I don't really care enough to replace it, though. Well, so, <laughs> I I want to replace it, but it's like one of those things where I'm, I, I'm too lazy to actually drive all around town and find another galvatron so we'll we'll see if it happens I, I do have a target coupon right now Ooh, there you go. oh yeah there's a what is it 25 percent off 25 percent off one toy yeah there you go that actually would come mm. in pretty handy except for i would want to have been return the other are you gonna like buy it and then return the bad one or are you just gonna buy an extra I'll probably just return the bad one. Right. So then you would want to use the 25% off coupon. Cause or I may just it. fix it. I'm good at fixing things. People are like, it's horrible, but uh, it can't be that bad. Can it? We'll find out. I don't I'll think fix it was it. that bad. That's easy. I mean, I feel like we have probably done stuff like this before. Right. Um, uh, what was it? Like, have you done a couple upgrade kits like the, um, oh, there's like the, the S and D upgrade yep. kit for the IDW Prime, Ugh. where you have to like take a pin out and stuff. So that was difficult. Oh, uh, Ron says it was but easy. I... So there we go. Okay, well then I'll just fix it. Maybe I should Thanks, just Ron. fix it. Oh, I guess I'll look that up. Well, well, we'll both try to fix it, and we'll report back next week. There, there you go. Yeah, I guess it can't be any worse if you. I mean, how bad are you gonna? Mess it up. The question is, is okay. So, did you see the DX9 kit that came out for Galvatron like a couple days ago? No. Oh, I thought I you saw a DNA one. Around that's what I mean. I'm sorry. Oh, DNA. Then yes, I did see it. The, the DNA kit. Uh, what did you think of that kit? Are you thinking about getting that? Yeah, probably. I don't know that that one actually. I I don't know. I hate getting all these DNA kits for these figures, but they makes do a them good taller, job. which I like. Yeah. Well, I never got the Ultra Magnus kit, and I think you said that that definitely was better too, right? I didn't get the one for the Kingdom one. But the Kingdom one is the one that you're it... keeping, right? Yes, but it didn't need the upgrade kit. To me, the Siege one did. Kingdom one was better proportioned. Yeah. So, anywho. Oh, and then anyway. there's a DNA kit coming for... Um, uh, whatchamacallit? For Grimlock too, right? The... Chosen Prime has told me it's processing in one day, two days ago, and it didn't process. So, who knows? Ron says he found some vinyl pry tools at AutoZone that helped to not damage the plastic. Interesting. Okay. All right. Do you uh, do you happen to have a link on that by any chance, Ron? Because that I, would be uh, fantastic. Because yeah, I have an AutoZone right right by me. So I've always just done the wrap the pliers and electrical tape move, but. Hmm, there you go. So, um, anyway, so the figure that we're actually one, reviewing tonight is... This one does not need Galatron. to get fixed. And it's totally fine. It's funny, we can actually sit here and compare and contrast, because I have not put the stickers on. I put the stickers put, on! You have put yeah. the stickers on. So, so, my question to you is, is how difficult was it to put the stickers on? Did you put, use tweezers and all that? I did. Okay. Um, 
part of it is difficult because the sticker instructions don't include all the stickers. Well, so there's still stickers on this sheet that I have no idea where they go. Mm -hmm. uh, additionally, they're the same paper stickers we've seen before, like a Power of the Prime stuff. And this one is already damaged just from being transformed. Mm. Which was not great. But uh, all the other ones are fine. They had a nice little bit of detail. This red one is particularly nice. Uh, I wish there were some stickers for the uh, gun at all, the cannon. Yeah. And there might be, but it's it's depicted with some paint detailing here and here, and there's, mm -hmm. there is none. And I don't think any of the stickers go there. They might. Um, they don't look like they do. So that's hard, but it is sparkly. Yeah, Which yeah, I do, cool. I do like that. that. That does look nice. Um, yeah, I wish there wasn't stickers. Like, that's, I don't know. I kind of like it just like this. And so I am really debating whether or not to to put the stickers on. Where, But I think if they I would if they would have had tampos place. on it, like, I would have been okay. Yeah, tampos would have made it way better. These stickers aren't terrible, but I would recommend definitely using tweezers and not lifting them multiple times because they are crappy Hasbro paper stickers. There's there's no improvement. Yeah. If you were well, in Power of the Primes, you'd know what they are. I'm I'm curious too whether or not like it'd be worth it to to wait for toy hacks because I'm assuming they'll probably do probably better stickers. But do you care that much? That's the question. I do hate also, those Hasbro stickers, though. If you haven't applied your stickers yet, don't apply these Decepticon logos this way, like the instructions say to do, because they are going to be upside down in canon mode for no reason. Okay. So, flip them. That, that's very funny. strange. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that. They needed another pass at those instructions and did not take it. And then, are you also getting the purple Galvatron with the Unicron? Uh, I am. Stuff. I don't know. I just wonder if I need this many Galvatrons in my life. I, I looked at that Galvatron again today, and something I didn't know uh, stuck out to me. So he's coming with all those little tiny slug figures, right? The, the baby right, ones. Right, yeah, yeah. He comes with four Dinobots. You'd think they'd be the four in the movie. And Snarl will get left out. But no, Snarl is there and Sludge is left out. So it's like, what are you doing? Make all of them. Just put them all there. We'll talk about that in a couple months. And I'll be I'll be mad at them too. So, <laughs> so, so Randall says we'll have as many Galvatrons as we had Siege Megatrons. Oof. That's probably true. It might be, yeah. Uh... Probably true. It's good. They could make a really good Energon Megatron out of this thing. You know, add the extra pieces like they did for Shadow Glass Megatron. Mm -hmm. Energon Megatron out of this, please. Yep, he is good. I mean, are we are we going to break our challenge, Lucas? Because we're actually reviewing this. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, the the challenge from Randall that uh, we weren't a allowed to talk about the color changes. Um, he's a different color so Catherine says that uh she's only going with the um the all purple galvatron as her galvatron and i actually think that's a good choice it looks really yeah. good so it's very neat it almost made me buy the red megatron with the same paint pattern last week on black friday but i did not yeah it was on sale too it was on sale so um, but i knew they wouldn't scale well together so i said no yeah, the question too is: Is are we going to get a Galvatron that doesn't have the like stupid siege paint? Because like I feel like having this in hand, um, you know, with this one, it makes the oh yeah, where it doesn't have the stupid worse. battle damage paint. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Look at that gray, yeah. unblemished. Oh, another note about stickers: It recommends that you put some stickers over this paint here. I, I didn't do that because it's just silver stickers over silver paint. I was like, yeah, silver paint looks good. Right. It also has one for the Decepticon symbol. And I was like, that's already there. So I'm good. Yeah. I don't know. I feel Weird like, stuff, Hasbro. I feel like that the, the chest stickers might be the, like, I might apply those, you know? These are um, good. I don't know. 
They are in four pieces. The triangles here are two. The middle bit is one, and then the framing bit is one. Yeah. But it looks like all one sticker on the sheet because it's poorly allocated, but it's fine. I've figured it out. I'll work it out. It's all good. And then I think the tech detailing on the chest and then on the shoulders looks really good. It's even some on the inside of the shoulders, which is mm-hmm. kind of unusual. But yeah, I mean, I do think that if you don't want to apply the stickers, I, I do think it, it, you know, it still looks pretty good without it. Yeah, you don't have to. So, well, some of my lighting looks weird tonight. Yeah, mine's a bit off too. I don't know. But yes, he looks good without stickers. He looks good with stickers. I am happy to have this guy because he's comic book Galvatron. He's also toy Galvatron, but he's comic book Galvatron, which is sometimes Galvatron too and sometimes not, depending on what continent you're on. Are you in Europe? He might be Galvatron too. Are you in the US? He's just Galvatron. It's okay. Hmm. Marvel comics are weird, man. But he's here. It's nice to have it in this colorway. Um, I really wasn't expecting it. We got the first one. It's like, okay, Galvatron, yay. And then they're like, oh, we're getting another one. Galvatron, yay again. See, the third I one, we you know what? Galvatron, get... yay. I figured that this was the other Galvatron we're going to get. Like, it seemed like it was pretty easy yeah. to do. Um, but they've been I hesitant wasn't... to do leader class selects. This is only the second one. True. I, I wasn't expecting the, you know, reformatted one with all the Unicron stuff and all that. So. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, I agree. Like, so Randall says he doesn't really have connection to the Marvel Comics or the G1 toy, so this, you know, isn't for him. And, like, I completely agree with that. Like, I don't think it's something where it's, like, if you don't have connection to that stuff, I definitely... I mean, to me, I feel like it's a lot easier to, you know, get, like, the $20 Deluxe. And probably the reason why you don't see... Uh, or, I'm sorry, the, the $20 Generation Selects. Um and it's probably why you don't see as many leaders is just because I don't know. It's, it, it's easier to justify an extra $20 figure than an extra $50 figure. So that's true. That is true. So. Yeah. It's uh, this one and galactic man shockwave. That's the selects leaders. Yeah. I feel it's like also good, gonna, but it's sat for a while. I, I feel like this one is definitely worth it to me more than the Galactic Phoenix Shockwave or the Dead Prime is another one. Amazon did that one. Oh uh, yeah, Dead Optimus Prime. Like I, that one I kind of regret now at this point. But you know, about that one twice. So, but yeah, I mean, you know, he's he's good. I don't hate him. Other than I wish the stickers were already applied, but you know, whatever. I guess this way it gives well, you choice. Look, the last time we had stickers pre-applied, things did not go well. They should just be tampos instead of stickers, but they're not. Yeah, yeah true, true, true. My leg's a little bit loose. I noticed that we lost transforming him earlier. Yeah, but just a bit, not bad. I was going to say, this one, uh, these aren't horrible, but I, I did notice it's a little bit, a little bit loose. As I mentioned earlier, he does come with two more revenge guns, which is not the same revenge that the reformatted one will come with. That's actual mold that looks like the ship. I don't know why these exist. I still don't know why. He also comes with a green matrix. I kind of like the, really black cool. sh- the, the black ship guns better than the gray I mean, ones. sure. I, they'll just go in a box, though. I'm not going to use them for anything. Because they don't look good with anybody, and they don't look like guns, and uh, they don't quite look like ships. And... Okay, man. Good for you. I don't know. I whatever. Won't. And he comes with Green Matrix, which is great, because the Matrix was green in the comics where he comes from, and it's awesome. Yeah. I did already have one from Thunder Mayhem back in the day, but that was a pretty difficult set to get, and it is very expensive to get now. Mm-hmm. So now you can have your Green Matrix, too. Yeah, how do we not have a Generation Selects Delta Magnus? That is a fantastic question. Remember that thing we talked about earlier in our Monitor Casters chat? Mm -hmm. About next year? I think you were right, and we might see it next year. I think we'll see it next year. I mean, I don't see how we don't 
see it. Like, it seems like it's like an obvious generation selects, right? They did three Ultra Magnuses and no Delta Magnus. Like, stop that. Well, and it Four, annoys me because there's a premium to... finish line. Oh, there's a premium. Oh, pff. a premium finish line is stupid. Um, the I mean I don't know. Like that Walmart one too. I kind of regret that one. I I, I don't know. I got rid like, of I feel one. like all of those leader packs really have not been great outside of the Except Nemesis, Nemesis Prime. Prime. Yep. So they're doing stuff again next year with the Velocitron line. That'll be fun to see. But I don't think there's any surprise packs in that. We've heard that Black Convoy is going to be the leader for that, which is cool. Happy to see him, but he's not spoilerish. Yeah. I think it's just going to be a toy. The Play-Doh thing was weird. No more of that, please. But yeah, I think we'll see Delta Magnus next year. Okay, so the thing we talked about, our secret theory. Lucas's secret theory is that since Rise of the Beast was delayed... And my supplemental theory to that is that it was delayed at the last possible moment before they had to manufacture figures. Because of all that, Lucas thinks that there will be replacement toys to take up some of that product space next year. And the easiest things and the quickest thing to get to market, because that time is like seven months from now, would be just repaints. What repaints can we do without using a lot of new tooling? Diaclone. Which would be Delta Magnus and um, Ironhide and more skids repaints. I think I think we're probably going to see a lot more repacks because of that, and then I think that you'll like you'll probably just see everything kind of like you know, like like they'll take figures that were like planned for like wave one, and they might make it like wave one and two, and you know whatever. Uh, and then I think you'll probably see a lot more more repacks. But then I think with that, like you'll probably see some repaints. And then I, I I think too that they'll probably move around some of their exclusives and whatnot. So maybe we'll see stuff that was originally planned and listed, but then changed. Like Night Prowler, who was supposed to come with Sideswipe, but instead it was Skywarp. Yeah. Also, I kind of think Buzzsaw might already be part of that because he was not on any list. And we reviewed the list twice. I would be excited for a Gears if uh, they could somehow fit him back in. That would be cool. If that mold exists. Or... Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think it'll be any new tooling. Like Buzzsaw's head was probably already on the sprue. Right. But yeah, so mm. I mean, I feel like this Galvatron overall is, is like, if, if you... If you want a, uh, you know, G1 uh, toy accurate Galvatron, like, this is it. It's good. You know, like, get it. Um, if you don't care, like, I mean, I think you could definitely skip it. You know, if they're doing Marvel figures, because this is not only toy accurate, but comic accurate, uh, can I please finally, after 35 years, 38 years, whatever we're on now, get a Marvel Comics purple sound wave? Please. Please? Pretty please? Just put the Netflix sound wave back out and also make him purple. That would be great. Right. It still seems wild to me that like both that Bumblebee and Soundwave were exclusives, you know. I don't know. I guess we'll may see the stuff again. I don't know. Purple sound wave, give it to me. I don't know how oh, that didn't happen. You also they did want the... Shatter Glass Soundwave too. I do. You're you're asking for I want a lot two, here, Christian. I want two Shatter Glass Soundwaves. I want the van and I want the tape. Oh man, tell you what. I want the van more. Oh. Oh. Not a ton to talk about. You know, this is how repaint shows go, and there's only two of us. Right, exactly. You don't we could keep going there. on conspiracy theories for another hour if you want us to. <laughs> there, there you go. Um, I mean, he does have wrist swivel at least, so Anna can't complain about that. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I mean, I know Anna was not a big fan of this mold in general, so, you know. I think this is definitely the better color scheme of this mold. Yeah. It's just so but much I, more dynamic than all purple other Galvatron. But I think that it would be hard, like, 
I don't know. I mean, I, when I think of like the movie and all that, I mean, I think of like generally this color outside of the yeah, no, you know, it, it needs to exist. It's just not yeah, as dynamic yeah. as this one is. But it could have existed without the space mud. And this mold, this version of the mold shows that it does not need space mud for any reason. It, looked, it looks great, just fine. Um, the. Catherine was asking about the Green Matrix, so you covered that earlier. That yeah. it's from the comic, right? It is from the comics, yes. That's how the Matrix appeared oh. in the quest for the Matrix storyline. Thunderwing gets it. It's a whole thing. There you go. All right. Well, I don't know. So uh, I guess we both recommend with caveats. Yeah, the stickers need to be better, and they're not. They're not horrible if you do it right, but I've been doing stickers for like 20 years now, so yeah. I'm old. <laughs> if you're new to stickers, get some tweezers. That'll help you. Although other or don't apply it. It looks fine without them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is for now. We'll see. But Cool. It looks good. Anyway, so... Um, there was an ouch my wallet last night that was pretty fun. So if anyone wants to go check that out, um, they went on for quite a while. I think like an hour and a half or so. They did like four rounds. So had some Goodness. pretty cool stuff. So, um, and, uh, I guess that's it. I don't know. Book club this week is going to be Titans Return one shot and RAD 56 and 57. So, um, so that should be fun. Have fun with that one shot. It is amazing. Mm, yeah, yeah. Pretty mediocre. So, anyway, I don't know. I don't really have anything else. It was a quick one. So, yeah. but th thanks everyone uh, in the chat. Thanks, Ron, for the uh, tip on the those vinyl tools yes. and whatnot. I'll Thank you, Ron. Out. I will. Help. I'll look into that too. So, and uh, thanks to Catherine and Randall and Phil as well. We'll be back next week with something fun. And also Anna, she'll be back too. Yeah, there you go. So, all right. Well, thanks guys. We'll see you next week.